So my full-time job is as an economist. I usually come to Washington, D.C. once or twice a year and do meetings and talk with uh, folks here about what they're seeing and how they're understanding developments in the U.S.-China relationship and share my thoughts on what's happening in China. Right. In this particular case, I also have another uh, excuse to be here, and that's a rap album launch party. My name is Andrew Doherty, aka Big Daddy Doe. I'm based in Beijing. I'm an economist rapper, and I talk about all things China related in uh, hip hop form. Wait a minute. Fubai phones, we eliminate them. NPC, it's a test. Chi Shang, get the stretch. Part of the point of doing economics in hip hop format is to uh, just sort of throw people off a little bit make it entertaining you know I do parody rap and when you parody when you take popular songs people already have a relationship with the music and so it helps them kind of get into it feel it and then they start when they're feeling they start listening to the lyrics more and uh, and then you know and then you've got them in and they're, they're, they're hearing the story And the great thing about the structure of some of these songs is you can fit a lot of words in because, again, in rapping oftentimes is very fast paced. So you can fit a lot of content in four minutes and really get to the heart of an issue, even with such a limited construct. But again, by doing it in four minutes, you haven't lost your audience because most people can listen through three verses and, and, and sort of pay attention. So it's a nice balance in that sense. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 18th Street Live 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 I grew up in Beijing as a, as a Sinophile, as a Chinese language student. Uh, I should kind of write an ode to the city that's taught me so much, and, and Jay-Z's Empire State of Mind was, was the perfect format for that. That's right. At the end of the day, my, my hope with the album is that it will engender passion for learning about China. Because I think the more understanding there is, uh, common understanding between uh, the U.S. and China or other countries in China, I think the better the, better the world's going to be.